so I was hoping this to be um, like a short but it's not going to be because I wanted to share some something like an insight just came to me and because some people have been asking me about how can I find my partner how can I find this how can I find this and all that stuff and it goes back to being because what that means is more than just sitting there and just you know it, it's a it's, it's 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 everything it's all in one sort of little thing um if you've ever felt this sort of inspiration to help others or to help yourself when you're helping others and it doesn't come from an egoic place it doesn't come from the ego it's a place um of abundance a place of like you just feel like you that's because you've taken care of yourself. You're taking care of this this vessel, and yeah, this is what they've been saying in not just Christianity. They've been saying this like you know, this is the temple. When you have the temple, it means that you take care of it. There's a reason why we chose to go into this third dimension and to really um, hone in on that. Um, that's the best thing I can come up with. I don't know. It's really when your body knows what to do, it knows what to do. It's not because it's just the body, it's connected to essence, it's connected to everything. Um, when the ego does, the ego doesn't want to listen. Ego wants to preserve itself, it wants to know everything, it wants to even manifest in its own way, it wants to create in its own way, it wants to find love in its own way, it wants to survive in its own way, it wants to give in its own way, it wants to receive in its own way. And it's always about that fear, it comes from a place of fear. And this is where we get into the, um, the tr one of the true meanings of how we can learn about our own Saturn. And I'm, when I'm saying this, Pay attention to the fact that I'm using astrological terms, Saturn, Mars specifically, because they are true connected to the body. Yes, there's also the moon, but that's more about emotions. I'm talking about like physical matter body. So you'll know when you react to something and your body, if you listen, if you're able to be present and you're bringing the attention to the body, you'll know where the body goes. One, there's the pain stuff. But the subtle things, like for example, you sort of, it's an instinct and intuition combined. It's a, it's a feeling of like, it's, there's a difference between comfort and comfort. <laughs> comfort to the point where it's like, it's enough comfort. And when I say enough comfort, I mean, it's like when you had enough sleep. Think of it this way, when you sleep, and let's say you don't sleep enough, even if you count it, even if it's like, oh, it's six hours, or even if it's based on sort of research or whatever it is, research does show that, but it's, uh, you know, let's say, let's say you slept like seven hours, but your, your body is not feeling like it's, it's, you're just not regenerated. You don't feel that sort of like, ah, oh, I feel like, like right today, for example, I s feel like this sort of like right here there's a sort of a, a slight discomfort but it's not enough to cause an alarm it's just an it's just a sign that it's like oh okay you'll know when to listen when you allow yourself to listen when I say listen I mean not necessarily this <laughs> of course not necessarily it's a listening it's instinct it's intuition and yeah so those are the roles of your own inner Saturn meaning your personal Saturn and using astrological terms because the planets represent an aspect of being human Saturn represents matter Saturn represents uh, limitations all those things that you put words into it but basically if you feel and you sense what Saturn is Saturn is telling you that's Saturn <laughs> if you can read it that's Saturn right um, Mars is 
kind of like because it's a personal planet it's a it's construction going on here Saturn uh, so Mars represents that part of ourselves that goes um, I'm willing to go for it but like anything just like Saturn you have your inner Saturn your personal Saturn it's just it's a fear when you start to feel afraid of something it means that something is telling you to hold on to something or to not really hold on to, to stop something it's kind of like like right now like for example I when I take cold showers I enjoy it but I also listen and it's like oh, okay now it's a little too cold <laughs> right that's when you know that's Saturn right there the Mars was going oh let's go for it I feel in you know invigorated I feel there's this is some I can do it I feel this sort of energy this push okay but when it's too much you'll know it actually for me it, it manifests through like when I get a headache because Mars or a headache or something around like the down area down area you feel sort of insecure it rules the genital areas but the point is that's what <laughs> Mars is. it's your sexuality it's sex so in other words that's part of it you don't have to call it Mars you just have to listen to it that's part of the body astrology is there to reveal what's already there right um, it coincides with existence itself right. so just something I wanted to share with you guys um, hope this video is not too long but if it is you know hope you enjoyed it a bit about a Saturn and Mars I don't know what else might come up in the future if you have any questions you know what to do I'll see you later. Bye.